So here uh, the magnetite is getting poured into the reflux classifier for the start of the test. Material has been pre-wet to uh, avoid particles floating of course. And there it goes. As you can see in the perspex column there, There is the sample in the vertical column. Test hasn't started yet. There's the laminar section and then the light particles will go into the trough at the top and then proceed into this bag, uh, which looks like a solid bag, but it has 20. So now is the start of the test. We are just uh, stratifying the particles, so this is the top of the vertical tube and the lights are slowly getting picked up so that we can get uh, four or five different kind of fractions. So you'll see at the top water starting to come out, but it's only water at this stage. Um, it's not enough carrying capacity for particles yet. Now, now, looking at the incline channel, you can see at the bottom that the particles are starting to go up. Now when we look at it closely, at this stage the outflow is still clear and uh, the, the little slimes that there were has been removed so now you see just clear water and coming through the filter there's also just clear water there. At the bottom of the filter there's a valve. So here we are at the end of the first sample, we are now swapping sample bags over. And if we have a look at the incline column, you'll see near the top that um, there's no more particles going up into the overflow, very little there. And all the other particles are just sort of milling around. So there's no more carrying capacity for more particles, so we've reached... Um... So here's the first sample. Uh, let's quickly have a look at the color. Certainly a green tint, so there's lots of olivine in there. And um... so the flow rate has been shut off after the first test. You see the incline column is empty and particles are slowly settling down. You can see the vertical column, particles are, um, we're at the top of the vertical column, particles are settling, the water is becoming more and more clear, and if we stand back a bit, There's everything at the bottom.
If we look at the color gradient in the column after the first flow, you'll see black, but there's still some green tint right at the top. The material column is still settling out, but all that remains now are some really, really fine um, light colored particles, light brown, dark brown, green, and if we zoom out, the rest of the column becomes more and more black to the bottom. Now we might just have another view at the incline column because you'll see if you look very closely the odd particle very fine still happily floating down slowly gravity doing its thing uh, without any water flow and just to look again through the water column that will be difficult to see here's the first sample having just been washed into a tray and you can see the well there's not a lot of black in there so excellent and of course it only appears black um, that might be uh, just dark colored heavy minerals now here is something you don't see uh, every day on the pilot scale uh, for the first test we've been drawing fresh water uh, with the drum as a reservoir and now we're going to be using water from the first test so we'll be now running the water in a here we go at the start of the second test I mean second flow right So now particles are again moving up the incline column. We're still on the floor. Here we are after the second test, which had a flow of 25 uh, rather than 21. And you'll see that um, the column A is a bit shorter because more material has been carried over. And you'll, but you'll still see the same color difference. Light brown, green stuff on top and black at the bottom. Here we are decanting the sample into the drying pan. And we'll so test four is now completed. Uh, samples been collected. Now we're emptying the unit and getting basically the remains um, as a separate fraction. And there it goes. So this is the reflux flotation unit. It looks like an upside down reflux classifier. So there's your normal flotation column, um, but uh, with the addition of spray water, um, which as flotation is not 100% efficient, you'll also get other particles uh, going up to the top, and the spray water flushes them down, goes into the uh, um, inclined column and gets accelerated. Lots of black stuff.